Hello everyone, what's up? Prince Wolf Team here with another video review. Today I'm reviewing LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 76029, Iron Man vs. Ultron. Z. And before we take a look at the set, let's take a look at the box. So you got LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, all the Avengers looking Avengery. Uh, you've got whatever this thing is. Uh, you got the Ultrons, you got Iron Man. Ages 6 to 12, of course, that's just a suggestion. They have to put that on there. Uh, 76029 Iron Man for Sultron. It is 92 pieces and multilingual building toy. Uh, it's from Avengers Age of Ultron. Just less than a month until that movie comes out. I cannot wait. On the back, you've got things. Um, here it advertises the new spring launcher thingy. Uh, you could take the Ultron bots off. And that's pretty much it for the box. Uh, moving on to the set itself, let's take a look at the minifigures. First off, we've got the new Iron Man. I think this is the Mark 45. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it looks really good. Uh, this even looks better than the Mark 42 that we got back with Iron Man 3, and that figure looked really good. So I'm into this. The amount of printing on here is awesome. It looks really nice. Uh, so, like with any Iron Man, you can flip up the thing. It's just the regular Tony Stark face that we've gotten since the 2012 sets. You know, he's angry. He's not. It's pretty typical. Uh, one thing that this set does come with is one of these new little launchers. So, you take Iron Man, you plug him into this. You push down the thingy, and whammo, he does that. And he just came off on that one. So put him back on there. Uh, and then we've got the Ultron Sentinels. Let's just use Leaderbot here. That's the... Ah. Put that back. Alright, and so then here we've got an Ultron bot. Uh, they basically all look like this, except this one comes with a little helmet. You take that off, and then they just look like that. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about the faces. I really wish that instead of having these normal faces with just these to put on them, uh, we actually got more... We actually got a sculpted face. I think that would have looked a little better. But, eh, oh well. We get what we get. Uh, and so it comes with three of these. You've got this guy that's got this little antenna backpack here, and then he kind of fits in the front of this ship thing. So I don't really know what it is. And then you've got two more with their legs being here. So I don't know how this is really going to play into the film, if it even plays into the film at all, but it looks like these Ultrons kind of merge together to form Devastator. No, not Devastator. <laughs> that's Transformers. Uh, you know, but they kind of merge together to form this little flying ship thing. Uh, so until we see the film, we we don't really know what purpose this serves. Um, well, the last time we got, you know, there's the Iron Man Mandarin final battle from Iron Man 3, and as that turned out, that was just a Lego set that had nothing to do with the film whatsoever. So this may just be a Lego set that has nothing to do with the film whatsoever. Uh, who knows? Uh, so there's not really much to this. You can just do that. So it's flexible. You can position it to how you like. Uh, it comes with stud launchers, two of them. I think just two. Yeah. So you've got two for the guys here to hold, and then they can... Yeah. yeah. So, here's what they look like without all the antenna stuff. So, I... Yeah, I still don't really know how I feel about these stud launchers. I mean, it's great for play features, but... They do, they do shoot really well, so... That's really the set in its entirety. Right there. Um... 
there's this thing to keep this guy in place, but really that's all there is to this set. Uh, it's April now, so I think these may be starting to head into stores. Uh, I found this at the Lego store, so you know they had it a little bit early because I have not seen any of the Age of Ultron sets in, at you know like Walmart or Target or any of those places yet. So uh, I saw this and I had to pick it up, and I wanted to just get a small set to start off and not get one of the bigger sets. Uh, well, really, the only other set I think I'm going to get from Age of Ultron that really looks appealing to me is the uh, Hulkbuster set because <laughs> you gotta have a Hulkbuster set that and that I really like the look of that one but otherwise mm, I mean I've got a Quinjet I know that I know that the um, Quinjet comes with an Ultron and the Vision so that's gonna be the only way you can get the Vision but eh I just I mean, all the sets look good. I think this is just really this and the Hulkbuster set are the only ones I really want to get. And also, I'm also running out of room on my Marvel shelf because uh, I've got the bookshelf in my room, my personal room, not this room. And uh, I use the top of the bookshelf for uh, holding the Marvel stuff, and it's getting kind of full. So either I need to stop getting Marvel sets, or I need to uh, find a different place for it all. <laughs> so. Um, what do I think of this set? Well, it's a nice little battle pack, because um, that's essentially what this is. It's a battle pack. And, uh, you know, it's nice. You get some nice little Ultron minifigures out of it. You get Iron Man, which, you know, you can never have too many Iron Man armors. I mean, with the way they keep turning out these Iron Man figures, you know, we'll be able to recreate the final battle of Iron Man 3 with the Iron Legion. It just won't be completely screen accurate, because, you know, this is the Mark 45 wasn't invented or built at the time of Iron Man 3, but you get the idea. So yeah, I'm, I'm really, I really like it. It's, it's a nice little battle pack. I think it was like $12 or something at the Lego store. So I think that's how much it'd be in tax at Walmart or something. You know, it's like $10 plus $2 tax or something. I, I don't I actually have no clue. Um, but it, yeah, it's a nice little it's a nice little set. Uh, it's, it was a quick build. It took me maybe ten minutes to do. Uh, and I and I do really like the look of this thing. I mean, it kind of has a Star Warsy vibe to it. I mean, really, this uh, you know no no what this really reminds me of is the Chitari ships from Avengers. That's what these really remind me of. I can't. I just not thought of that actually. So. I would have brought one in for a comparison, but oh well. So, uh, yeah, I like the set. It's good. Pick it up if if you want it. Uh, and that's really it for this review. So make sure to like, comment, rate, all that great stuff down in the you know section below. I really am turning into MGO here. I am. I'm even doing this now. Uh, I really need to stop doing that or I'll get sued. Copyright or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, do all that stuff and join me next time when I review Ezra's speeder bike.